the minimap mod for Minecraft 1.20.1. How do you download it? How do you install it? Well, in this video, we're going to show you exactly how to get Xero's minimap, which is a really cool minimap mod. There's some customization. You can make it square. You can make it circle. Kind of up to you on that. And uh, overall, it's just a really good minimap mod. So let's go ahead and download it. First things first, you want to go to the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is the official text guide that we have for Xero's minimap. If you want to go through things in a text format, this is here for you. Otherwise, go ahead and click on the download Xero's minimap button to go to the official Xero's minimap download page. On this page, you can see a little bit more about it. There's the two different minimap types and all the different stuff it can do. There's tons of stuff here. I believe it even has waypoints built in, which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and click on files here. And then we want to find the Forge 1.20.1 version of Xero's minimap. It's right up here at the top for us, but you might need to scroll down to find it. But here it is for us. Click the three dots on the right hand side and click on download file. While this is downloading, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGA to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily set up mods, mod packs, plugins, or anything else you want on your server. And we even have an amazing high quality help center to help you out alongside live chat support. So if you want to start your own server, look no further than Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH to start your very own Minecraft server. Now, Xero's minimap has now finished down downloading, may need to keep or save it depending on your browser. And then we also want to download Forge. Obviously, Xero's Minimap, we download the Forge version. That means we need the Forge mod loader. So go to the description down below and you'll find a link to this. This is our in-depth text guide on getting Forge. It goes through everything you need to know, but we're going to be going through most of it in this video. It's just if you do have any issues, we have them here. We even have different issues to troubleshoot and all of that stuff. Let's go ahead and click the uh, yellow download Forge button to be taken to Forge's official download page. Once you're here, we want to make sure that we select 1.20 and 1.20.1 on the left hand side and once we do see MC 1.20.1 here, come under download recommended and click on installer. Wait a few seconds, it will take soft to add focus. We're stopped. Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Just put your hands in the air and wait about 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, click the red skip button that appears in the top right. When you click on that red skip button, Forge will start downloading in the bottom left. You may need to keep or save Forge, which is 100% safe as long as Forge is in the title, which as you can see, it is there, so you would be good to keep or save this file. Once Forge is finished downloading, we can minimize our browser, and what we want to do is move Forge and Xero's minimap to our desktop because it's just going to be easier to manage those there. Let's go ahead and navigate to our downloads folder where we can find Forge and Xero's minimap and drag them to our desktop. We're actually going to be starting off with Forge here because you need Forge in order to get the Forge mod, which is Xero's minimap. So go ahead and right click on Forge, click on open with, click Java and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java here. Well, if you don't have Java, what you need to do is download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods. Obviously, Xero's minimap is a Minecraft mod and this guide goes through everything you need to know to get Java 17 up and running. But luckily, once you've got Java 17, you don't need it again in the future, so you just have to download it once, and then any Minecraft mods you want to install will work. You may also need to run the jar fix, and this is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work together, but make sure you get Java first, then run the jar fix. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That will open up the mod system install for Forge, where you can click Install Client and click OK, and then Forge will begin installing. The only reason this won't work is if you've never played Minecraft 1.20.1 without mods before. If that's the case, go play that, come back, and this will work or if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open. If either of those are open, make sure you close out of them and then reinstall Forge. But as you can see for us, things are now completing and it will come up and say, successfully installed client profile Forge for version 1.20.1. Once you've got this, click OK and Forge will close. We can then go ahead and delete it from our desktop. Let's get Xero's minimap installed. To do that, what we want to do is open up the Minecraft launcher and then in the Minecraft launcher, you will most likely have Forge automatically selected right here. If you don't, maybe you can click this arrow and select it. If that's the case, click play and click play again. But if you don't have Forge here, click on installations at the top. Make sure modded is checked up here in the top. As you can see, when modded is not checked, Forge isn't there. When you check modded, there it is. But if you still don't have Forge or the 1.20.1 version of Forge, click new installation. You can name it whatever you want. But I'm going to name it Simple Game Hosting because that's the best way to start your very own Minecraft server. And then click on the version drop down box here. What you then want to do is select release 1.20.1 Forge. Mine's actually quite a bit of ways down here, so you might need to scroll down to find yours and here it is for me. Then I'm going to change my resolution. I'm just doing that so you can see once we get in game and then click create. Now we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile that most importantly has 1.20.1 Forge under it. Hover over this, click play and click play again. Minecraft's not going to open up with Forge installed and that's the hard part. The hard part is getting Forge. The easy part is once you've got Forge, adding mods to it. And in that case, that's Xero's minimap. 
I'll see you on the main menu to do exactly that. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. We can tell Forge is installed because we've got this mods button here. Go ahead and click on that mods button. Then once you've clicked on the mods button, you're in the mods menu, and go ahead and click open mods folder in the bottom left. That will of course open your mods folder right like this, where all you've got to do is take Xero's minimap and drag and drop it into your mods folder. Now, if we come back to Minecraft, it's not here. And it's not going to be here. you got to click done and quit the game. You then need to reopen up Minecraft in the Minecraft launcher, making sure you're playing your Forge installation. Either the one that was there by default or the one that we created. In this case, I'll be playing the one we created, but it's up to you. Whichever one you have, either the one that's uh, there, Forge, or the one that you created. Just make sure you're always playing Minecraft with Forge in order to play your Minecraft mods, including Xero's mini-map. Nevertheless, we'll see on the main menu just to show you that the mini-map mod is working, and we'll be good to go. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. If we go to mods, we'll be able to see Xero's mini-map. Right there it is. And we can obviously jump into Minecraft and be able to see that this mini-map is in fact working. It'll just work right away. In the top right or top left, it will be there. Now, here's the thing. I don't necessarily like the location of the mini-map, and by the way, it will take a second for it to load in. There we go. Um, but I don't necessarily like the location of the minimap where it's at. How can we change that? Well, we can open up minimap settings by pressing Y on our keyboard. You can turn the map on and off, but most importantly, you can change the position. I want the minimap in the top right. That's just where I like it. And then we can confirm that. You can also go in here and change other settings, by the way. Like you can go into view settings here and change the shape to circle. That's what I personally like as well. But let's say you want it to zoom in a little more. And there's actually a lot more stuff that you can change here. If you go into your keybinds here. So we go into options here and then we go into controls and keybinds and scroll all the way down. This is all Xero's minimap settings. You can change the enlarge minimap button. You can change different, you know, toggles and stuff like that and keybind all of these. So up to you what you want these to be. But let's say we wanted to go ahead and toggle the map with J here. We can come in here and press J and it'll turn the minimap on and off. Right like so. You can also press Z by default to zoom in right like so. So there you have it. That's you can do all that. And that's not even mentioning all the different waypoint stuff that this has. I mean, there's so much stuff that Xero's minimap has. For example, if we wanted to set a new waypoint, we can press B or open the waypoint screen with you. So B is going to press a new waypoint, so we can do this as spawn. And then if we press B, we can open up this sort of screen here. And then if we press U, we can open up the waypoint manager where we can see all the waypoints we've set, delete them, share them, teleport to them, all of that stuff. So there you have it. That is how you can download and install Xero's minimap in Minecraft 1.20.1. Enjoy your new Minecraft minimap mod, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.